Coming up on this episode of Theme Park Newsroom here on Coaster Channel, we're going to be taking a look at the latest at Alton Towers, including work at Nemesis of Terror, markings at Enterprise, and also an update on a potential rumoured location linking to the Enterprise markings about Secret Weapon 9. Along with all that, we'll be sharing my thoughts and also the possibilities for the next Secret Weapon project. It's time for another Theme Park Newsroom here on Coaster Channel YouTube channel. Ladies and gentlemen, I am Erjana, aka the C H A L L, your Dunkster uh, theme park journalist, and your theme park journalist worldwide, and Dunkster one, but built for theme parks. And welcome to a theme park news and update here on Coast Child YouTube channel, where today. We'll be discussing about a few different things around Alton Towers. Now, we do have some Scarefest updates, which will be shared uh, in a separate video, which will be coming online either, to, either tonight or tomorrow. Uh, but this is all around Sick Weapon 9, around Nemesis Subterra, and it's also around uh, some possibilities of what's going to be happening with the Enterprise site because markings have been spotted. So we're going to start first of all with the Subterra updates. And before we get started, make sure you do like, comment, subscribe, click the notification bell to never shoot your video. All the social media links are in the description down below. And let's get into this update. So we are kicking off with Nemesis Subterra and there is active work taking place inside the building. Now shout out to Theme Park Worldwide uh, for the official photo that you will see on your screen. This is from their social media. Uh, please go over and follow their updates. They always bring uh, updates from the different parks. So please don't, please go over and follow them uh, for the latest updates from different parks. Now, over the last couple of days, work has been taking place around the Nemesis of Terra building. The photo you're seeing now is from today. Um, and there is definitely a hint of potentially this could be the location of the mystery new scare experience for this year's Scarefest. Uh, or it could still be a possibility of the return of Nemesis of Terror, which hasn't been operating since 2015. Now, it's definitely a very, very interesting update, uh, which is upon us here on the channel. And we are going to be keeping things posted on Nemesis of Terror, what is happening to the site, uh, and everything like that. But let's just share quickly my thoughts on Nemesis of Terror before we move into our next update. So there we are, ladies and gentlemen, through all six of all ages. That is the latest on Nemesis of Terror. Loads of active work taking place inside that building. Now, this is the big debate. Do I think this is for a new scare experience, or do I think it's the return of Subterra? I'm dreaming and hoping that this is Nemesis of Terror with an updated plot to go along with the refurbishment of Nemesis happening over the next year or so. Ready for 2024. That would be my hope. I personally feel like it will be Subterra themed, but I think it could be a brand new scare experience. Now, whether it's just going to be Scarefest or whether long term they plan to open it beyond Scarefest, like they did with uh, the Sanctuary uh, while the Smile was being constructed, and um, you see what Thought Park did with Sora Alive for a few uh, for a good year or so uh, when Sora Alive was there. Um, you know, they sort of opened it as sort of a permanent attraction and then obviously it became this just, you know, Fright Nights only thing. Do they plan to do that long term with Nemesis of Terror? It's just like, going to be like a, an all year round scare attraction and then, you know, operates for Scarefest only going forwards. You know, is that the kind of thing we're going for here? We don't know. Um, I'm still 50-50 on it at this stage. I would indicate that this is probably going to be the, uh, the new scare experience, which I'll talk more about. Um, sort of around uh, the Scarefest video, uh, which I'm filming next. Um, but for me personally, I, I think it's more likely going to be the Scare experience, but I would like to see Subterra come back. So if they're going to open a brand new Scare experience somewhere else, then I think Subterra will definitely come back. I think once we hear more stuff about what the next new maze is going to be for Scarefest and what other experiences are going to take place during Scarefest, 
Once we get the Scarefest announcements in full, because we have had some announcements already, which I'll go over in that video. But once we go over the rest of the Scarefest reveals, then I think it'll become clear as to whether it will be Subterra coming back or to do a Scarefest. But still 50-50 at this stage until the Scarefest announcements come out. So I think that's the sort of date for your diary, if you will. That's the sort of watch out date to look out for. And that's the, the date of the rest of the Scarefest announcements. Because they've announced a couple of maids in the, few, in the family details already. But some of the newer uh, scary stuff hasn't been revealed yet. So I think once those announcements come out and everything's about Scarefest revealed in the public then we'll get an idea of what's happening. So, 50-50 at the moment on Subterra. But, let's get on to the rest of this video now about Secret Weapon 9. I've got another photo. Credit again goes to Theme Park Worldwide on social media for this. Let's put it up on strings, shall we? Fan Dabby Dozy, there we go. That is it. That is the uh, what is happening so enterprise has markings just outside of its queue line there um it says usc if you sort of flip the photo around it says usc which i don't know which means much but i think it's very very interesting indeed now the reason why it's interesting is because uh of this rumor that i was sent now this was sent by uh, a good friend of the channel um who's a very trusted person um Obviously, we don't know if it, if it is for certain, but with I think with the markings, it could definitely be uh, an indication. Now, the rumour was this, and I'm going to put this up on your screen now. Find a bit dozy. Now, this, my friends, is the site um, that I was told about as a potential location for Secret Weapon 9. Now, obviously, the Enterprise is down one end, Coastal Corner is down the other end. Um, and then you've got this whole sort of compact wooded area sort of in between so around the back of oblivion um, Obviously you've got it, you know around that coast to corner section uh, You could also technically technically uh, include the um, The actual building of the the old Ice Age 4D theater as well. You could technically include that um, in it as well but mainly it's that it's that wooded area, the coast to corner section, and the entrance to Enterprise. Now, this I'm told, like I said, was a potential location for Secret Weapon 9 at Old Towers. Now we know about Secret Weapon 9, we know it's been in the pipelines for a while, uh, it was, we know it's now in, it's in the pipelines. Um, and Joe Ward even said during a fan event that he's, you know, mo the most rel exciting roller coaster technology is set to come to Alton Towers. So we know Secret Weapon 9 is happening at some point. Um, now, in terms of types of roller coasters, this is where it gets interesting. Now, I was told by the same source um, that an Interman Blitz was on the cards for a while. Whether that is still the case, whether that is true or not, can't say at the minute. It's just take it with a pinch of salt at the moment. Just just take it with a pinch of salt for a minute. So, uh, the rumour was that an Interman Blitz had been on the cards for a while. That could possibly still be the case, because if you do look at the area where the coaster is, uh, or coaster could be, uh, you've got the Enterprise area for a nice queue line. Uh, you've got the whole sort of wooded area where the coaster will be, I think, sort of maybe halfway up the wooded area um, with the coaster corner section there and obviously off the other wooded area, you could use that as coaster area. And with this being a very compact wooded area, be a very low to the ground coaster which would suit something like an Intamin Blitz or a Mac launch coaster, something like that. Um, even one, even something like Max Force, even something like an SNS um, launch coaster, something like a Max Force, something like that, um, you could weave that track in and out, in and out of, you know, the the wooded area. Now the thing with the secret weapon is, it's got to be some kind of record breaker. It's got to break some kind of record. Um, you know, Nemesis was the f uh, only inverted coaster in Europe at the time of opening in 1994. Oblivion was the world's first vertical dive coaster or dive coaster in general in 1998. Air was the first flying coaster. Well, uh, I think it was uh, Europe's first flying coaster or one of the world's first flying coasters in 2002. Um, 
obviously 13 in 2010 had the world's first kind of element at the time or one of the world's first elements at the time again i'll leave that as a surprise because it is a psychoster and i want to sort of leave the the shock factor for the new ones out there uh smiler world's first 14 looper in 2013 wicker man the first coast to combine wood and fire um in 2018 so it's got to be something that breaks a world record or some breaks some kind of record um so there's there's plenty of things you could do with this you could do um sort of a, a backwards a backwards element uh, on a multi-launch coaster you could do um you could do the old washing machine concept that was for the SW7 old towers uh, the old smiler concept you remember that old um possible world's first element where you had that piece of track attached to a circular platform and you'd spin round and round and round um, when the track actually detached from the rest of the track and sort of span round like a bit of a madhouse type element but like a hex style element so uh, there's a possibility you could still do that um, you can maybe have the track detached and maybe start swinging like a bit of a swing kind of thing and sort of combine a bit of a pirate ship uh, kind of element with um, with the coaster and have it swinging for a bit I mean there's, there's, there's still different things you could do there's world's first you could do um, and to be fair I think that's one of the things that could maybe make it not be an Intamin Blitz is because of the whole sort of fact there's not many record breaking elements or world's first elements you could do with an Intamin Blitz especially in a conservation area as well because Alton Towers you know if you want to build something tall you have to dig deeper that's the whole plan of the conservation area especially around that X sector area where Smiler is where Black Hole once stood so um you know, I knew from that documentary watching the Smiler on Blue Peter being built, you know, from that conservation area and the plans of it being a conservation area and keeping it as a conservation area. So, for me, I think there's definitely uh, a possibility of something happening. Most people are saying the Axis Coaster. I really wouldn't rule that out, to be honest. I think having the UK's first Axis Coaster um, or having maybe the world's longest Axis Coaster or world's tallest or world's fastest Axis Coaster would be the way to go with this. It would it would create a brand new seating arrangement for the park as well, very much a wing-style seating arrangement, which is you know quite different to, uh, or very different to uh, some of the other winged, uh, some of the other uh, seating arrangements at the park for coasters. Um, very, very, you know, has similarities to Thought Parks being M Wing Coast of the Swarm uh, with the seating arrangement at the side. So I think that there's a real possibility to do that. Um, and yeah, it's going to be very, very interesting to see what happens. So let's talk a little bit more about Secret Weapon 9 and the possibilities of what this could be. So there we are, ladies and gentlemen, Thrill Six of All Ages. That is speaking about Secret Weapon 9 and the possibility of it being located in between Enterprise and Coast Corner. Now, like I said, this is just take away salt, take it with a pinch of salt at the minute, but I do think that with the uh, markings around Enterprise, definitely hints that that it is coming sooner rather than later. Um, I think it's going to be very very interesting to see what happens. Um, I think there's a real possibility of this possibly being an Axis coaster because he's you know Wardley is excited by the new roller coaster technology coming to the park. Um, and you know this very much represents new roller coaster technology. Intamin Blitz, maybe not so much. Maybe maybe six seven years ago, maybe. But um, but uh, so nowadays it's sort of like it's settled in for a few years. It's you know it's definitely still good roller coaster technology. It's still great roller coaster technology, but it's not as new as it was. So um, I think that looking for new concepts, he's sort of looking for things like the SNS Axis. You're looking for maybe a single rail. Maybe it could be a single rail, or maybe a launched single rail twisting in and out of the wooded area so there's there's a million and one possibilities as what it could be um and what it could link to but it gives us a hint now as to where the location could be for this coaster sort of where the en the entrance area being around enterprise maybe you exit um around coaster corner or maybe you do exit around the same area um and mo and, so and maybe the back half of the coaster goes around that coaster corner section of the park um, that, like I said, there's a real possibility here, or it could just be a case of it switches the other way around. Maybe it is a case, and to be fair, with the markings on the floor next to Enterprise, maybe there's a possibility uh, that it could be swapped the other way around, and maybe it's a case of uh, you get the back half of it around Enterprise, and it works its way back towards Coaster Corner, and then that whole sort of Coaster Corner um, becomes like a like sort of 
I don't know, like a, maybe like a, a sort of new area for the for the for the coaster, uh, along with the dungeon maybe. So I think there's, a, there's there's still a few possibilities to what this could be. Still more questions than answers at this stage. Like I said, take away a pinch of salt at this time uh, of the day. But uh, share your thoughts as to what this could be, what you think the possibilities of this could be. Uh, thoughts on the area as well. Do you think it's going between Enterprise and the Coaster Corner in that wooded section of the park in behind? Do you think, and this could be a possibility, and I'm just putting this out there as my own personal prediction or opinion, do you think they could use the Ice Age 4D theatre building as a pre-show for the coaster? Just putting it out there. <laughs> Um, you never know, they could, they could literally, they, they could literally put a massive colourful wall in front of the theatre, repaint the theatre behind, and then that gets used for the area for the coaster. They could literally do that. You could literally put up a board of colour or kind of pattern on it and put like a little mini family ride or, or kids ride or flat ride in front of it. Kind of like they did before like when they put Frog Hopper in front of the theatre building and had some of the queue running th uh, it's running outside of there in the last sort of few years of Cloud Cuckoo Land kind of thing. So they could possibly do that uh, if they really wanted to. But that's going to be it for this video, guys. Make sure you do like, comment, subscribe. And for now, I am the C-H-A-L-L, Dongster Born, but built for theme parks and your theme park journalist worldwide. Keep living the coast of life. I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have a towers-tastic day.